Hi everyone, it's been a crazy 24 hours. So I'm gonna be doing some travel diary vlogs the whole time while I'm going on my trip. Today, I am not in Kenya, but I am in Dubai. And there's a long story for how this happened. to Seattle, had a few hour layover, and now I am heading to Dubai, the richest city in the world. So I'm really excited. We get food on this plane. I've never had a plane feed me, and I just got this fancy package here. Dubai. This airport is gorgeous. Uh, wow. I got off the plane and had to use the bathroom and when I went in there it was like in the ground. I didn't know I didn't know what to do. I just sat on the floor and went pee. It was the weirdest thing ever. I have a 12 hour 14 ish 12 ish hour layover here until I head to Kenya. But at least I have a nice airport to hang out in. I really wanna go exploring, but I know my parents would probably get mad. I'm really glad most of the signs here are in English so I can know what's going on. I got here to Dubai around 7 p.m. and don't board my flight until tomorrow morning at 9.30 p.m. a.m. <laughs> um, I think it's around noon back home, but here it is about 1 a.m. and I just got nice and showered and cleaned up and ready for bed. But I wanted to tell you about my day real fast. So I left Salt Lake City yesterday around one o'clock in the afternoon and got on my flight went over to seattle lost my water bottle in the salt lake airport which i'm really mad because it's my nice utah.com water bottle that keeps my water cold and i left it there on the ground so maybe it'll be there when i get back so while i was in seattle i bought a new water bottle this one right here a nice big one to go in my backpack because my next flight was 14 hours long, so I wanted a nice big water bottle to keep me hydrated during that long flight. And the flight was really nice. It was through Emirates Airlines, and I was flying from Seattle to Dubai. And um, I didn't honestly think the flight was that bad at all. I've, I've heard horror stories from some people that had really long flights, but I was pretty comfy, and there was movies to watch, and Emirates is a really nice airline. They even fed us on the plane so I had a dinner meal and a breakfast meal and drinks and stuff in between so I was a pretty happy camper and I got a window seat as well although I did realize that on the plane um, there were like a ton of window seats open when I was choosing my seats and I was like yes I love window seats but now I kind of realize that people maybe choose the aisle seats because then they don't have to like climb over people to get out and walk around so you win some, you lose some. But I had great views. For example, 
But after my flight was over, I got off the plane, um, went to go get my baggage. I had them drop off my baggage in Dubai instead of sending it straight to Kenya because I wanted it for the 12 hours that I was gonna be here. I thought I was gonna be sleeping on the floor of the airport, so I thought it'd be nice to have my stuff. I could go to the bathroom and freshen up a bit. Speaking of the bathroom, I went when I was, when I got off the plane, I was so excited to use flushy toilet. And when I went in, I found this. It's not the fleshy toilet that I'm used to and I was really confused. I didn't know how to use it. <laughs> oh, you gotta go and you just make it work. I'm getting my luggage and I see an information desk and I go talk to them about, hey, where do I go to check back in and blah, blah, blah. And they're like, well, didn't you just get your luggage? Aren't you staying? And I was like, well, I have a 12 hour layover. So I'm just gonna kind of lay on the airport floor. I was just gonna go check back in. And they were like, oh, well, didn't you get a hotel voucher on the back of your boarding pass? And so I pull it out and look at it and it sure enough is a hotel voucher. And it even says that it has free transportation to the hotel. So I was like, okay, is this legit? Like, is it legit? I legitly have a room booked for me at the hotel next door. And they were like, yes, and you gotta go get the shuttle um, in like 20 minutes. So go wait over there. And I was like, okay. <laughs> If I could fall into the sky. So next thing I know I'm on a shuttle and I'm over at a nice hotel two miles away and I get checked in and I get to my nice room. Do uh, you guys want to see the room? So here's the room. I actually have two beds in here. There's a nice seating area, um, TV which I haven't turned on, but the bathroom's nice. I was really excited to see they have a nice big shower and a sink, hello, and a flushy toilet. I was so excited. So I, I ran in, I swiped my card here, zoop, zoop, swipe, swipe, swipe. And next thing I know, like 30 seconds later, all the lights turn off. And I'm sitting on the toilet like, what, why did this happen? Run back out, zoop, zoop. Swipe my card again, lights are on again. Go wash my hands, lights turn off again. Going right back, shoop, shoop, shoop. I go and find my deodorant, lights turn off again. And I was like, okay, I must be stupid. So then I walk down to the front desk and I ask them, uh, I can't get the lights to stay on in my room and there's literally no other switches besides that thing that you put your card in. So I didn't know, I didn't know what to do and they're like, well, you have to leave your card in the slot or they'll just turn off automatically after 30 seconds. And I was like, yep, I'm smart. So anyways, get to my room, get everything situated. And then they tell me that there's free dinner. And I was like, I like free food. So I go down to the dining area, have a nice meal. It's like a buffet style meal. And I get some rice and some saucy stuff and put it on. Had my side self a nice little Arabic dinner. So I noticed while I was there that the dinner hours was from like 5 p.m. until like 1 a.m. And I thought that was crazy that it was open so late, but now I am realizing that everything in Dubai is open really late. So I'm on my way back from dinner and I get ambushed by some touristy company that says, hey, do you wanna go on a bus ride for $30 around the city? It starts in 10 minutes, 9.30 p.m. And I was like, yes, yes I do. So I went on a sun tour of the city, which wasn't sunny because it was dark and nighttime, but was cool because all the buildings were lit up with tons of lights. I saw this palm tree island. This is a man-made island made to look like a palm tree. Of course, there's the tallest building in the world. Do you think time would pass me by? Looks like it's sparkling because they have lights blinking on it the whole time. Um, lots of fancy mosques. Cause you know I'd walk a thousand miles if I can just see you. And just a lot of cool architectural stuff. 
tonight. I also learned that tourism is the main source of income for this city. They didn't discover oil here until about the 60s and up until then um, fishing and pearl diving were the main sources of income for people here. So we just made a pit stop over at the Persian Sea. So there's the ocean behind me. This hotel um, rooms range from starting at like $2,000 a night up to 30, which is literally insane. A private helicopter pad on top of the building, tennis courts. Everyone's just waking up and coming to hang out because it's finally cooled off. So everything is open really late. The population is like 2 million something, I can't remember exactly the number, but only 19% of that population is local Emirate people. The other nice thing about this place is that everything's in English, like everyone speaks English pretty much. All the signs are in English and I don't have a hard time getting around at all, which is something I was a little bit worried about going to a brand new city all by myself for the first time. So I'm very thankful that <laughs> pretty much everyone here speaks English. I think they also invented air conditioning here. Um, they have air conditioning even like in the tunnels when you're driving through them, which I thought was cool. But everything is so, so hot here. It's literally a desert. When I landed here at like 8 p.m., 7 p.m., 8 p.m., it was like 110 outside. And it's about one in the morning now and it's still 100 degrees out. I think the tour guide said the hottest it's ever gotten here has like been 127. Never in my life did I think that I would be sitting in a nice hotel in Dubai just eating some goldfish crackers. Mm -hmm. 